and I'm doing everything in my I'm doing everything every day. There is not a single day that I do not take it. Hi my friends, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be something very special. I've seen this video floating around and I thought, why don't I give it a try? Today we're going to be doing the 50 facts about me, but with a little twist. We're going to be doing 25 facts in two parts. Let's get started. I freaking hate spiders. There's nothing scarier than spiders and their long little arms and fingers and legs and whatever is crawling over you. I hate spiders. My mom was raised in a French-German household. Nonetheless, I do not speak a single word in, in French. I do speak German. I actually do in English and in German, but I still don't speak French. Je ne parle pas français. But that's about it when I speak in French. There is nothing I'm more afraid of than dying from a shark. Sharks are like the scariest animals in the world. I have no idea why my parents call me Dominique. Since it's a male and female name, 90% of the males I'm getting back are addressed with a sir. From a very young age, my dream job was to become a neonatologist. 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 So this is actually a story, but when I was little, there was a huge spider above my bed. My mom crawled up, stepped on my bed. She actually tried to get the spider off. It fell in my bed. She took it, she threw it out. But I was really convinced that this stupid spider laid eggs in my bed. And for years and years, I wouldn't go near that corner of my bed because I was convinced that spider laid eggs there and there were gonna come some baby spiders out of it. For about the most part of my life I used to be a vegetarian and now I'm like the least vegetarian one can be. I'm convinced I've seen a shark when I was in California on vacation and there was a, like a big wave and I'm very convinced that in the side of this wave there was a shark. My family actually laughed at me for that and I cried. That's a real true story. I don't think there is a single hairstyle that I did not have. I used to start with an undercut, I had a side cut, I had dreadlocks, I had long, and I had like millimeter short hair. I've gone through everything and I love every phase of it. There's not a single phase I didn't go through. Whatever I'm cooking, it is always, always, always onion and garlic and wolf. I do not cook without fresh garlic and onion because garlic and onion are just life. I may look cute and everything, but I mother effing swear a lot. Like, a lot. There goes not a single day that I do not swear. When I was little, the only pet I ever had were two guinea pigs named Twist and Biffley. And I've always wanted a cat, but actually I'm highly allergic to cats. Despite that, if you have one and I'm coming to visit you, I'm still going to pet because I freaking love cats. Let's be honest here, some days I really hate my training, some days I do not want to go to gym, some days I dread it, I dread everything about it. If there is one single food I actually spice, it's sea. I do not generally like any seafood. I hate mussels, I think they're disgusting, I hate crabs, I hate limbs and all that chubby thing that has jiggly and claws and all that. That's just gross. On the other hand, there is not a single day that I do not eat chicken because chicken saves me my gains and chicken is delicious. Despite all my swearing, I freaking love kids. They're so much to be fun around, they're so cute, they're adorable, they're entertaining and they give you some really new perspectives on life. Yet, I'm still not sure if I ever want kids on my own. If 10 years ago someone asked me what my future is gonna look like, I'd tell them that I live all by myself in a very huge apartment building with my dogs in New York City. Still, to this day, my biggest dream is to actually move out of Switzerland and get to the United States and live all by myself in a big apartment or in a shared apartment. I don't actually care, I just want to get out of here. Let me just get out of here. I'm one of those very few people that can honestly say that they love pressure. There is nothing I work better on than under pressure. I love working, I have actually a very good work ethic and pressure just gets me going. And with all that pressure that's upon me, I will be complaining how stressful my life is. I will be complaining about how little sleep I get. I will be complaining about everything, but just don't listen to me because I actually took those projects upon me and I love it. Would you have guessed? I'm generally a very shy person. If you see me out on the street and you don't make the first move and say hello, I would never talk to you. My family is huge. I have over 30 cousins and I know each and every one of them. I know all their names and I know what family they belong to, which I found out is not very common. There is no worse state of this face than if it's hungry. If I'm hungry, you better do not cross my way. You better do not ask me a favor and you better do not not eat my food because bitch, I'm gonna be haunting you. When I lived in the US, I despised peanut butter. I had to smear peanut butter jelly sandwich for my kids every morning and I hated it. It actually made me gag. By the time I got back home here, I got so addicted to peanut butter that I actually regretted not eating peanut butter when I was there, surrounded by peanut butter. And here we have number 25. I am, I do everything 150% this. 
finish. If I take on that project, I'm gonna give 150% and I'm not gonna stop until I'm done. So guys, this is it from my 50 facts in two parts video. Give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. If you wanna see the part two of the next 25 facts about me, subscribe to my channel, which should be like right here. I don't actually know. And thank you very much for watching. I love you. Bye. Such a strange word.